My name is Fabio Grippa, I'm a program manager for the Super Formula car. We are now in front of the new SF19 uh, car and I would like to uh, explain some uh, technical features of the new uh, creature. We try to have uh, uh, the best possible uh, car, so a big evolution with respect to the SF14, working mainly in free area. So the first one was uh, weight saving, the second one aerodynamic, and the third uh, vehicle dynamic. So about weight saving, uh, we did really, we put a lot of effort, uh, and uh, I can say that uh, what made this car uh, much better than the previous SF14, uh, it's not visible, it's under the skin. We have new material, new construction technology in the car, and uh, thanks to this, we are able uh, to design a car which is really light. Then, uh, talking a little bit about the aerodynamic, everything uh, uh, is new on the car, about aerodynamics. We have a front uh, new wing, which uh, follow the last trend coming from the Formula One. So looking from the top, the wing has a view shape. A completely new design of the wing, we have introduced a second flap. So in, in, instead of uh, a big uh, single flap, we have now two flaps. And uh, this makes uh, the wing uh, very efficient. That means uh, we, are, we can create much more downforce with the same level of drag. Here on the side, uh, we see the new end plate with a particular design. So the aim of the end plate uh, is to manage the airflow around the front tire in order to reduce the, uh, the drag level and to make the more downforce again. On the back, uh, we have this new wing, uh, which was not present before, which uh, it's useful to redirect the airflow on the sideboard for cooling and in particular for the intercooler, which is on the opposite uh, side uh, of the car. And then we have a completely new design uh, of the wing, of the sideboard. Sideboard is uh, very important because on the right side we have the air engine intake. So the air is not coming through the roll-up like in Formula One, but the air intake uh, is on the right side of the sideboard in this area. It's really important to have a lot of air coming inside their, uh, their intake. And that's the reason why we put this additional uh, uh, let me call uh, side pod, uh, which have the scope to bring the hair and to direct uh, to the air uh, inlet of the engine. While the lower part here, it's very useful to redirect the airflow which comes from here and to have uh, a good flow of the air attached to the, to the side pod and bring to the back of the car, which is very important for the diffuser, which is another big uh, important step uh, of this new car. So, if we look at the handle floor, the idea is to bring uh, much more possible hair on the handle floor, and uh, one of the new features is this part here. So instead of very, a very big radius, we have uh, a more sharp edge, uh, which brings a lot of air down to the, to the handle floor of the car, together with this new feature. And then the hair coming to the back of the, of the car is extracted by a very, very big uh, diffuser, which starts from the middle of the car, and at the back, we have a very huge diffuser which, uh, which bring a lot of air out of the, of the handle floor and which work together with the rear wing. So the diffuser is really one of the most important features to have uh, a lot of downforce at the rear, but it works together with the wing, with the rear wing. And uh, also the end plate are completely new and uh, they have been optimized to manage their flow on the rear part of the car to reduce the shape of the airflow coming from the back to the car to increase the overtaking capabilities, which was one of the targets of, of this new car. Enjoy the race and we are sure we will have a very good race.